Do you know where you'll be living 20 or 40 years from now? Chances are the answer is no, but that's the question Traverse City and Grand Traverse County Commissioners are having to answer when it comes to things like their offices and the jail, all the departments and services they offer. It's part of a master plan creation, and this morning, County Commissioners got an update. It's tens of millions. I mean, you know, it's, it's in the higher end of tens of millions. When price tags in that range are tossed out here and the county commission then suggests that could be low, you know the proposal being discussed is big, probably going to take a long time to complete and bound to meet some resistance. Uh, I think we need to go back to the drawing board on this. Wednesday morning, county commissioners got an update on the work being done by a Grand Rapids architectural and engineering firm when it comes to the county's master plan. This spring, the county and the city decided to look at what buildings they have, how they use them, and whether they should continue to share some spaces in the future. We go through, there's a, uh, a fairly detailed scoring system of each building. Which isn't that unusual. Municipalities create master plans all the time, but the city and county share a lot of space, like the jail, even these commission chambers. So what they're contemplating in this master plan that's in the works is is it time for a breakup of sorts? The big idea is it is a three campus model. Um, there's still a series of other facilities that will be outside of that, but uh, Boardman campus really being um, combined services. So city and county services that would still be in this location, you know, the courts, this building. The three campus model has in very broad terms, the county having its services out on Lafreniere Road the city moving to a spot on Woodmere, and some combined services staying in a remodeled governmental center at the Boardman campus. We'll, we'll reference our friend right here with the historic courthouse. We would never recommend replacing it. Uh, you know, the, the renovations there, it's a community asset. We would recommend investing in it, uh, similar with the Hall of Justice. But every other building is up for consideration, evaluation, and recommendation in a possible master plan transformation that would take years, if not decades, to complete, and a possible price tag of well over $100 million. Some say it's planning for the future and considering every option for addressing challenges down the road. Others, not so much. Uh, I'm not okay with this. Uh, this looks like a 10-year plan to build an empire and spend a lot of money that doesn't need to be spent. Again, nothing is set in stone regarding the master plan. Decisions are still being made. A final report with recommendations and proposals is expected to be in commissioners' hands around the end of the year. This morning, county commissioners did approve $3,000 to fund a survey for county residents to gather some more feedback and input.